brothers rock Jesus pieces, but they really don't know Jesus. Just know that he's the seeker, please believe it. We got the keys to the kingdom. We we'll never be defeated. Evil legions, all the demons. I know you see them screaming, please believe it. We got the keys to the kingdom. 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 We got the keys to the k
That's why we come out here. And what did Christ say earlier? Fear them not, because people are going to be upset for us teaching you your true nationality. Yes. Why do you think it was illegal for you to read the Bible back in slavery? Because you would have found out who you were, brother. Read. And what ye hear in the ear. What we hear what? What ye hear in the ear. So what's revealed by the Holy Spirit, what should we do? That preach ye upon the housetops. Where we at right now? We on the side of the road preaching on the housetops. Yes, Watch this though. And fear them not. What? And fear them not. Christ letting you know because you out there preaching this truth, people going to come against you. People going to threaten you. People going to eventually kill us. And guess what? America is going to pass laws to make it legal for them to kill us. For That's what? Right. Teaching the gospel. Right. Best believe. And guess who going to spearhead it? The black church. Right. Mark the words. Read. And fear them not which kill the body, uh -huh. but are not able to kill the soul. So what we out here doing is going to make people upset. The, I'm bringing this up to bring the point. When the brother broke out the scriptures, uh, in Deuteronomy uh, 23. Give me Nehemiah 13 to 1. Because Nehemiah came about 800 years after Moses. I got you, brother. I got you. But we need you to listen diligently because we out here to teach. Nobody's out here teaching us anything. Because all the matters that y'all are in and doing, we was once doing, and it is ungodly according to the scriptures. So that's why we're not out here for anybody to teach us. Read. Right. Nehemiah chapter 13 verse 1. This is what you need to because this is 800 years after Moses. Yeah, Guess what Nehemiah had? To, I got you brother, but I need you to listen diligently. Read. On that day, they read in the book of Moses in the audience of the people. So this is 800 years after Moses because remember we read in Deuteronomy 23 about an Ammonite and a Moabite shall not enter the congregation of the Lord forever. So 800 years later, the prophet Nehemiah had to do what? Read it again. On that day, they read in the book of Moses in the audience of the people. Uh -huh. And therein was found written uh -huh. that the Ammonite and the, the what? The Ammonite. The Japanese man. And the Moabites. Come on. Should not come into the congregation of God forever. You see that? So what's your question, brother? Did you hear that about them now? Uh-huh. No, the kingdom of heaven is going to be on earth, but what's your question? So in the kingdom of heaven, right? The kingdom of heaven, is it like a spiritual place or is it a No, it's going to be physically on earth. We got you, brother. Listen to this. Wait, 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 wait. Listen, it's going to be on earth. Listen. Start at 21 wait, 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 or 2. Listen. Okay, before you read, before you read, let me finish. So, okay, it's going to be on earth, right? We're going to read that. Does the kingdom of God have a spiritual aspect? Listen, just listen. Okay. We got you, brother. We, just listen to the Bible. Revelation chapter 21, verse 2. And I, John, saw the holy city. Hold on, I did what? I, John, saw the holy city. What do you see with, brother? The holy city. What do you see with? So, can there be a spirit? Brother, can you see spirits with your eyes, yes or no? So, read it again. And I, John, saw the holy city. We're trying to help you, brother. He yeah, saw the Holy City. If you're asking a question, bro, if you're asking a question, let the other person answer the question. Can you see? You can see what your Okay. First of all, human beings are too Listen to this. Natural. Let me finish. But he's seeing with his eyes. Right. Well, can I finish, though? You asked a question. Can no, I, I said, what do you see with your eyes? That's all we need confirmation, finish, though. though. No, 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 Hold no, on, no, let's no, get no, this no, and then we good. And I, John, saw the Holy City, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven so he's seen it coming down from the heavens meaning out of the sky he's seen the holy city meaning he physically seen it with his eyeballs right. read he's not in the trance or vision he's seen it with his eyes read right, right. prepared as a bride what prepared as a bride adorned for her husband that's crystal clear so what's the question brother okay. so did you get that he saw it with his eyes coming down from heaven Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Okay, okay, do, do Israelites have spiritual eyes? Yeah, but he saw that right here well, with his eyes. Do you have spiritual eyes? Yes, and, I, and we can see that you're in the midst of sin, brother. Right. Right. That's what we can see. That's why we out here. Why you think we read that? Give me First Corinthians two fifteen to up. answer that question. Then we go back to the kingdom of heaven. Bring it up. Well, yeah, listen, listen. 
1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 15. But he that is spiritual. What? He that is spiritual. Does what? Judges all things. So yes, brother, we got spiritual eyes. That's why we come out here and say, brother, according to the laws of God. Give me that Romans 7, what make you spiritual? According to the laws of God, brother, what we see, brother, you in the midst of sin. We could give you Leviticus 21 and 5, but it tells you not to round the corners of your beard, not to shave them off, according to the text. So let's see what's spiritual. Romans chapter 7, verse 14. For we know that the law is spiritual. Hold on, what? For we know that the law is spiritual. So the laws of God is spiritual, brother. Not a brother sitting back smoking a hookah and, 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 and hallucinating. The laws of God is spiritual, brother. Read. But I am carnal. But what? But I am carnal. So now let's go back to the kingdom of heaven. Let's go back to the kingdom of heaven. Officer, get ready to come back up. Now you good, brother. Come on through, brother. We out here. We out here teaching. Real quick, where you at on this side, my brother, before you walk through, man? Good to, good to see you, brother. Where you at on this side? So these are the names of God. And to the right of the slave names. Where you at on that sign? I'm a black American. <laughs> right, but according to God, who are you though? What does His God child. call you? His child. No, but specifically, what does God call you? Judah. Right. So that's what we out here to teach. That's uh, brother, you see why we read that? Hey, my brother right there, Felix. Hey, Felix. Felix, brother Felix, why do you think we read that in Matthew said, what's covered shall be revealed? Because the brother said he's a black man. His nationality was covered. Why do you think they changed your name? To cover up your nationality, brother, that's simple. But let's go back to the brother. I don't want to divert. So let's get the kingdom of heaven real quick. Now, give me, give me verse 12. Watch this. Revelation chapter 21, verse 12. So now this is a description because remember John saw with his eyes prepared. Watch this. And had a wall great and high. So it's got a great and high wall. Watch this. And had 12 gates. And what? And had 12 gates. Okay, come on. And at the gates, 12 angels. Uh -huh. And names written thereon, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. So real quick, brother. The kingdom of heaven has got 12 gates. And on every gate is the name of one of the 12 tribes. Brother. Was the Ammonite or the Moabite one of the tribes of Israel? Come over here, brother. Do you see Ammon and Moab on there? So what? So what gate are they walking into? Furthermore, it's got it's got twelve angels at the gate. Have you ever been to a, a club in, in the VIP section, and they got the bodyguard? He he's standing at the door. He got the clipboard. If your name ain't on the clipboard, are you getting into the VIP section, brother? It's just that simple. Best work. Just that simple, brother. It's just that simple. And this message is going to make a lot of people mad. But to me, it's not about being mad. I want you to talk to you. I'm talking to you, brother. This is kind of what I'm here with your son. Okay? For example, what you tell me already is that my uncle's child. No, your uncle's child. No, he's not. Give me numbers 118. We're not telling you that. Non-Israelite to a woman. Well, we just read that's a sin according to the Bible. That's right. But listen, I mean, listen, 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 child. listen. I'm going to get it. You got to calm down. First thing we got to do is, brothers, we got to stop being emotional. That's right. It's, that's the, the black man has been oversensitized in America. We're having a conversation. You asked me about your uncle. So I'm going to give you the scripture about your uncle's son. Watch this. Numbers chapter 1 verse 18 and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month and they declared their pedigree meaning family lineage your pedigree is your family lineage watch this after their families by the house of their fathers by the house of what of their fathers no my mother's a, a Chinese woman by the house of their fathers so it doesn't matter the man carries the seed That's are you familiar okay. with okay what about his wife then what we are in what is his wife is he she's white she's white okay give me romans 9 13. now this is gonna make a lot of people mad so the biblical name of white folks in the bible are, are, are they come they descend from esau they are the nation of edom so you tell me what this means romans chapter 9 verse 13 as it is written what as it is written meaning it's written somewhere else in the bible malachi 1 and 4 to be exact watch this jacob have I love? Who's Jacob? You descend from Jacob. Jacob is the father of the 12 tribes of Israel. Watch this. 
but Esau, who? but Esau have I hated. So what that mean? All right, brother, you explain that. We just reading the Bible. I'm asking, what it, God, you, you just said from Jake. Okay, so what does that mean for them? What does Esau represent? That's the white race, brother. Give me Malachi 1 and 4. We're gonna show you. We're gonna, we're gonna show you what they represent. Watch this. Malachi chapter 1, verse 4. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished. So this is talking about during the dark age when they was living in the Caucasus Mountains. Hence why they call themselves Caucasians. They were impoverished during these times. Watch this. But we will return and build the desolate places. That's going into the Renaissance, namely 1453. That's why we come out here. Black people, they know we don't read, so we don't know nothing about history. Come on. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness. So they are the border of wickedness, meaning the measuring stick of sin. That's what they are. Okay, one question. No, but did you get that? So what does that mean? What is that? I, I know. You're, here's the deal. Here's the deal. You're asking thousands of questions, and when we read it, you're not you're not acknowledging stuff that's coming out of the Bible. Right. What did the Bible say that they represent? What did the Bible say they represent? I'm asking. I answered your question. Listen. Acknowledge. What did they say? You asked what they represent. They going. They they shall call them the what? And they shall call them the border of wickedness. What does Esau Edom represent? No, it says they are the border of wickedness. No, because they are made. Give me roll. Go back to Romans nine. Go back to Romans nine. We got you, brother. We got you. Because here's the thing, a lot of our people, we suffer from Stockholm Syndrome, but we want to save the people that oppressed us. And then they, they don't give a damn about you. You had to think about it. I'm talking about this. Hold on, listen, listen, listen. Think about it. We are. I'm asking the question to prove what I'm, to prove the statement that I just made. Because, well, I'm not out here just making statements and not being able to prove. Who's the number one and number two uh, uh, prison population consist of? Bring it up. I just don't see what that has to do. It does. We're going to get that. I'm, I'm, we're going to, I'm going to show you that in the Bible. Who's the number one or two prison population? You don't know? Blacks followed by Latinos. Now, who suffers from single parent homes out of all the other races in America? I just don't see what they have to do with salvation. Brother, because you don't know what salvation is. That's where we're going to get you to that. So what? tell, tell me your understanding of salvation. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Jesus Christ came in the flesh. Uh huh. Except that uh, he died. Okay. And that he rose. Okay. Right. So if you if you if you believe in that genuinely, not just believe in that truly with your whole heart. Yep. To me, you that's what salvation is. Okay, but that's not explaining what salvation is though. So we're gonna help you. We're here to help you. No, we got you. We got you. Because again, we're, we're out here to teach. And I already know what you what you told me. That's the thought over the whole world. But we're going to read the Bible, and this is going to piss a lot of people off. That's why Christ said they're, uh, they're going to kill us for this. Watch this. Luke chapter 1, verse 67. So this is the very definition of salvation. And it, and I let's make sure that when it comes out, you either agree or disagree with the Bible. A lot of, lot of, lot of people walk around here, they hate the Bible, they disagree with the Bible. So I'm going to just let you know. Watch this. And his father Zacharias was filled with the Holy Ghost. So his, this is John's father Zacharias. He was filled with the Holy Ghost. He wasn't rolling around foaming at the mouth on the ground shouting. Read <laughs> And prophesied saying. He did what? Prophesied saying. Meaning what? He foretold something that's going to happen in the future. Don't we agree that's a prophecy? Okay. Uh, I'm saying, is that a prophecy? If, you fore, if something is foretold and it's going to come pass, uh, going to come to pass later, yes or no? Is that what, what's considered a prophecy? So I know we're on the same page. Uh, it could be considered a prophecy. Okay. The prophecy is, is, is okay, limited, so, limited to that. But I'm just saying, but if, if something is told in the past and it comes... To, uh, to fruition in the future, they'll say that man was what? What would they call that man? 
If a brother's out there speaking about something, we read about well, what are the what are the forefathers in the you Bible called? You see, the brothers is playing game. I'm talking about in the context of the Bible. I'm talking about in the Bible. Okay, thank you. So let's we gotta stop playing the semantics. Read. Blessed be the Lord, God of Israel. Hold on, what? Blessed be the Lord, God of Israel. So he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Watch this. For he hath visited and redeemed his people uh -huh. and have raised up a horn of salvation. Uh oh, so raised up a horn of salvation. Let's talk about Christ. For us. For us, meaning the children of Israel. That's right. In the house of his servant David. Read. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophet. So this is prophesied in the Bible about Christ coming to save the children of Israel. We're reading the very definition of salvation so yes. you understand. Read. Which have been since the world began. Uh -huh. That we. That what? That we should be saved. Should be what? Saved from our enemies. That's right. And from the hand of all that hate us. So what the Bible says. What is salvation according to the Bible? So who are your enemies, brother? Bring it up. Uh, I'm asking, okay, yes. who are your enemies, yes, brother? So my enemy, right? It's enemies. Okay, my enemies. You know what I want. Well, ultimately, so we have good. one enemy. Do you agree with that? No. Okay. Because the Bible doesn't say that. But I'm going to let you talk, though. Okay. So my enemy is anybody, right? Who, uh, it's against uh, the... the the will of God. That's my enemy. What is the will of God? That all men may be saved. Okay, get the will real quick. Then we're going to get enemies. All right. Bring it on. We got you, brother, because what you're spewing, Bring it on. what you're teaching right now is against no, the Bible. I'm not teaching anything. What I'm saying. So, again, if so, I'm not think, think about it, brother. If somebody's asking you a question yes. and you're answering it, yes. answering well, the I'm question. Not teaching. I'm answering the question, but I'm not teaching. Okay, so let's, okay, so what you're saying, I'm going to say it like this. What you're saying goes what you're saying goes against the Bible and I'm gonna show you because what does what you said salvation does that match up what we read in the holy text yes or no your definition of salvation I just need a, it's a yes or no question right so did that line up with what you said before I read the scripture yes or no before before we read the scripture your your answer to the question of what salvation did it match what we read in the Bible yes or no no it didn't brother no, it didn't, brother. You you on camera, brother. No, brother, brother, it didn't. Brother, you're lying. You're opposing the Bible. Read this. Psalms chapter forty, verse eight. So let's get the will of God. I delight to do Thy will. I what? I delight to do Thy will, O oh my God. Yea, Thy law. Thy what? Thy law is within my heart. So if a brother said he's doing the will of God, he's not keeping the commandments. He's a liar. It's just that simple. He's a liar. Give me 1 John. You know what I want. Bring it up. 1 John 2. 1 John chapter 2, verse 4. He that saith, I know him. So a lot of people say, I know God. I got a personal relationship. I'm saved. I'm dipped in the blood. You know, I know the will of God. Watch. And keepeth not his commandments. So one of the commandments of God is when we're reading 1 Corinthians chapter 11, as we're reading, as a brother is praying or prophesying, a man's head is supposed to be uncovered, meaning we're not supposed to be wearing hats. That's a commandment of God. In 1 Corinthians, that apostle Paul wrote, read. Is a liar. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. So that's why when we ask you a question, well, and, and it's not your fault because what you've been taught are all lies. You've been taught Christianity, which is white supremacy. You've been taught that. So the things that you're saying, brother, all of us here believe that. That's how we already know what answer you're going to give. And it doesn't line up with the text. Nation is men leading by example.
His blood! His blood! 